Hello, everybody. I'm Dr. Stephen Stokes. Happy July 4th. This is July 4th, 2024. And uh, I'm inspired to make a video about the immune system. I just got back from Jonesboro, Arkansas, where I was fortunate enough to see my stepson graduate from his residency program at St. Martin's Hospital there. Very proud of Michael. Excellent physician. Excellent guy. Uh, but while I was on that trip, I had the wonderful opportunity to encounter um, a virus. And I assume I picked it up on the plane. And it gave me a appreciation for the beautiful immune system. And it reminded me of the importance of the thymus gland. And the thymus gland is something that nobody talks about. I don't know why no one talks about the thymus gland. In, um, in Greek, in ancient Greek, it is called the tumos, which means like anger. Now, why would they talk about the thymus gland in association with anger? I don't know. Maybe it's proximity to the chest. Where is it, by the way? It's, it's right here. It's located right here. So it's just like behind the breastbone. And um, it's very interesting, right? It's this, this big gland that when we're... When we're young, it's quite large in the body. And then as we go through puberty, as we get older, it begins this, this horrible, innate process of shrinking. I've always had a big problem with that, right? I've always wondered why innate, innate, who I put all of my faith in, why it would do that to me, why it would shrink my thymus gland as I got older, uh, starting with when I began to produce a lot of sex hormones. Doesn't seem fair, does it? So what is this? thymos gland, this thumos. Well, it's this incredible school really for your immune system. What happens is, is your bone marrow produces these T cells and they go to the thymus gland for education, for learning. It's basically where they learn how to behave. It's, it's a place where your immune system is taught it's taught about the good bacteria, the bad bacteria. It's taught about viruses. It's a place where your immune system is educated. Your white blood cells are educated onto how to behave in the system. It's super important, right? And you can see how if that thymus gland shrinks as we get older, you can see how that could have pretty negative effect on aging because as that begins to shrink, uh, we produce less antibodies. We're going to be more susceptible to disease and horrible things, right? Like infections, cancers, bad viruses. In fact, there is a strong indication, right, that the, the degradation of the thymus gland is one of those, almost like those internal death clocks that we have that regulates our longevity. And so <clears throat> for me, kind of interested in longevity. <laughs> I'd like to live long and I want to be healthy. And so I pay a lot of attention to the thymus gland. So far as we know, there's no way to prevent the thymus gland from deteriorating, but we can certainly slow it down. And I have a couple of great tips that I was painfully reminded of in the last few weeks when I was on my trip, when I contracted this virus reminded me, oh, I'm not paying attention to my thymus gland. I better, I better dial that in. You know, um, really in America, it was only in the 60s when they, they began to give the thymus gland recognition. Up to the 60s, they thought it was like an incidental, like sort of evolutionary hangover, right? Remember they thought that about the tonsils? I don't have any tonsils because some psychopathic medical doctors decided to remove my tonsils when I was a kid because they said they're incidental. You don't need them. They're swollen. Let's take them out. We used to think that about the thymus gland as well. It was only until the 60s. And you know, you got to think about this. I was born in 69. The 60s were not that long ago. And back in the 60s, the top medical people were saying, thymus doesn't really have a purpose. It's not important. And now, right, we know that it is like the most major important gland 
in the immune system. It is the place where the immune system goes to train and to learn. And it's directly related to longevity and to your health. So that's pretty scary. Just keep that in mind, you know, as you read things and as you go through the process of self-education, remember that, that it's the wild west out there. And that just like in the sixties, man, they were thinking that the thymus gland didn't even really have any good function in your body. Well, now we know it's very important. Now, in all fairness, in, in Switzerland, we had physicians over there in the 30s that were on top of their game, right? They were injecting uh, thymus cellular extracts into patients with and getting results in serious like immunocompromised illnesses. So they knew there was a connection. And then that process of injecting the live cellular extracts in the like 1933, I think was the first time it was done. Um, it was done by that Swiss guy. What was his name? Dr. Paul Nienhans, Nienhans, I think, Nienhans. I think that was his name, 1933. He did it first and then his students perfected the technique so they didn't have to use live cellular extracts. They stabilized the the uh, thymus extracts so it could be used and it didn't have to be a live, a live cell extract. Well, today we have the ability, we've got two great products that we can use to help support the thymus. And the first one is called Thymex and it's by Standard Process. And Thymex is a bovine thymus extract. Bovine means, you know, cow. So it's a beef, a beef uh, thymus extract. And um, what they do is they have a patented process where they take the um, beef thymus gland and they do what's called a, a systole extract. So they have a procedure where they basically take the, the vital fluids out of that thymus gland and they concentrate it down into a tablet form. And that, when you ingest it, is going to basically give your tired thymus a big bump it's going to provide a lot of the constituents that your thymus would be making in your body and it's going to provide those to the system until your own thymus can sort of regain its health so it's a great product to take if you're feeling sick when i was um feeling bad with this virus that i picked up I think I got it on the plane ride to Arkansas. And uh, when I got that, like right away, I knew, oh, something's wrong. I could tell I was getting sick. I immediately started to take Thymex. I would take five or six of those twice a day. So I was taking about 12 a day. And I mean, it just completely activated and turned on my immune system and uh, really helped me a lot. So that Thymex is a great product. Now, Standard Process also makes another product. They make a thymus protomorphogen, thymus PMG. And I've talked about protomorphogens quite a lot. I've made some other videos on it. I'm not going to get into the science of protomorphogens here. You can certainly look up that video, but in a nutshell, what the um, thymus PMG does is it's a decoy, right? So you're taking this extract into your system. It gets into the bloodstream. And if you currently have a process happening in your body where your th uh, thymus gland is being attacked, such as an autoimmune disease, what the thymus PMG is going to do is provide a decoy so the attackers will focus on the decoy proteins and not attack your thymus. So it creates this window, right? This delay opportunity, delayed window of opportunity uh, to give your own thymus a chance to regenerate. Now, how do I use these two products? Because there's a bit of a, a method to it, right? So I don't use the protomorphogen when I'm sick. When I'm sick, I want to use the pure uh, systole or systole uh, thymus extract, which would be called Thymex. I want to use that and I want to use it in super high dosages for a relatively short period of time. Remember that it takes somewhere around seven days for the thymus to produce antibodies. Um, that's why traditionally if we do organ transplants, 
those people that get the organ transplants, they were dying in seven to 10 days. And they were dying in seven to 10 days because it was taking that seven to 10 day period for the thymus to produce the antibodies against the, or the organ. That's what we saw those death rates. Um, so with that in mind, when you have an infection, when you have a bacteria or a virus in your body, uh, it's gonna take that seven, seven day period roughly for the thymus to produce those antibodies. So I jack it up, man. I, I take Thymex, I take about 10 to 12 a day, split it up into two dosages, and I take that for the first seven days, no question. I don't take the protomorphogen, right? I'm not interested in regenerating the thymus. I'm in, interested in giving it a bump, which is what the Thymex does. How I use the protomorphogen is different. What I do with that, as I use a lot of these protomorphogens, is I'll do a cycle. So throughout the year, I will cycle various protomorphogens into my supplement routine to help with regeneration of those organs, specifically the thymus. So what I'll do is, for example, is I will do a, a cycle of several weeks of, a, of thymus protomorphogen. I'm not sick. I don't have a virus or a bacterial infection or anything happening. I'm just doing that to give my thymus a little break from all of the people that are attacking it. I shouldn't say people, but all the nasties that are attacking it. Um, stress causes degeneration of the thymus. So I guess in a sense, some people are responsible for attacking my thymus indirectly. But anyways, I use the protomorphogen in a cycle of a couple of weeks to again, help with the regeneration of the tissue. That's how I use that. Now, also wanna note, that um, when we're talking about the thymus, zinc is also really useful. A lot of times I will also supplement with zinc when I'm sick because the zinc will give the thymus a real bump as well, help it make those antibodies. And there is, um, there's also some um, ideas on an herb called uh, astragalus, astrologus, however you say that. And with uh, astrologus, it's been shown in several studies to help with the uh, regeneration of the thymus. I do not use astragalus when I'm sick. I just use the thymex. But again, I have been using astragalus complex along with the protomorphogen in those regeneration cycles that I, I like to do. Something else I want to cover is um, what we can do with the thymus organ um, as far as uh, physical medicine. There's a lot of uh, information out there that seems to suggest that just stimulating the receptors in the skin that lay on top of the thymus gland, like I'm doing right now, just rubbing that area, seem to suggest that that will increase um, production from the thymus gland. It seems to suggest that you'll increase things like uh, thymosins and, and, and vital fluids and, 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 and hormones and products from that tissue that can help with the immune system just from rubbing the area or from stimulating the area with heat, for example, like infrared therapy. Um, however, uh, I believe that if you're really interested in this stuff, that one of the least um, expensive ways to stimulate that thymus gland is with a ceramic block magnet. And as you know from this channel, I've done several videos on this. I like this one from Pro Magnet. Um, this is clearly marked north and south polarity. For the thymus tissue, if I wanna stimulate the thymus gland, I'm gonna use the south polarity. That southern polarity field held over the breast plate like this is going to really give that thymus a bump. And it's gonna increase production of all those vital fluids hormones and chemicals that we can use to get the thymus to do its job even better, to make it more efficient. If you have the budget for it, if you can afford it, and if you want the best and you want the most productive way to treat the thymus gland with physical medicine, then you buy one of these. These are This is a flex beam. I've talked about it on the channel many times. With the flex beam, you're gonna set this on a number two, I'm a bit slow. Number two, activate it, turn it on like this. You're gonna apply this directly over the breastbone like I'm doing here now. I'm gonna hold it over this area and you're going to um, 
project those photons into the body and into the thymus. And this is going to help with healing of the thymus gland. It's going to help make the thymus work more efficiently. And it's going to be a combination of red light therapy and infrared therapy, which you can study and you can read those studies and show that show perfectly well that those therapies have a very beneficial effect on tissues of the human body. We know, for example, that they increase ATP production in the mitochondria, as well as a whole bunch of other things. So I hope this was useful. You can get these products off my website where you can buy them directly from Standard Process. It helps support the channel. And you also get any current uh, discounts or deals offered by Standard Process. As always, I encourage you to read my book, Heal Yourself, free download on my website. And if you'd like to, you can reach out directly to me uh, through the website, through email. You can call me on the phone if you want, uh, text me, and we can have a conversation. Maybe I can offer you some more specific, you know, ideas if you're suffering from certain symptoms that you're looking to get help with. I hope this was useful. Please subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you again soon. Thank you very much. Oh, happy July 4th, everybody.